What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight... Tonight! We have Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Yes, indeed, how about that? Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bop, do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Peter X444, and Peter X444 wanted to see me react to this song by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds called From Here to Eternity. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a minute, wait a second, I recognize this song, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Yeah, shocking. And the video has 286,206 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say, are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds from Here to Eternity, live 1989 pro shot with well balanced audio. <laughs> we'll see about that. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. I want to oh, tell you about a girl. This is from 89, right? Yeah, okay. I'm not sure when this song was written. It has a very early 80s feel to it. Um, kind of that new wave 80s uh, feel to it. Uh, it sounds good. I, I, I'm not going to sit here and go, oh my God, this is amazing. No, no, it's not. 
everything the band is doing is actually very simple. Um, they're, they're pretty much staying on just one chord <laughs> the whole time uh, on an eighth note pattern. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. I mean, that's, that's pretty easy to follow along with. Uh, the drummer's throwing in some accents in there with his cymbals, which is nice. It helps break up the monotony of the song a little bit. Um, really, the focus is on the vocalist and what the vocalist is singing. Uh, this is going to sound weird. The vocalist kind of reminds me of Jim Carrey a little bit. Kind of spastic. Uh, both in his movements and motions and with his vocals as well. I'm uh, not sure if I'm a fan. I know it's. I know we're, we're only a minute and a half in. We still got like another three and a half minutes to go. But it, it, as it stands right now, I don't know if I'm a fan or not. That could change. That could very well change. But yeah, I'm not really feeling it right now. Let, let let's keep going. Let's see where this goes. More of the same. I mean, it, <laughs> there's no variation in the song whatsoever. There, there's no. There's been no development. There's been no growth. It has not evolved in any way, shape, or form. It's followed the exact same pattern. Now there has been some dynamic usage. I will absolutely give credit where credit's due. When they come down right before the chorus, they come down dynamically, and that's really good. It gives the vocals a chance to be a little more impactful. And then they bring it up, and they bring it up, and they bring it up, and they're right back into the verse again. So, it's a simple formula. It's an easy formula. It's a formula that is easily repeatable, and they're they're definitely doing it. Um, and I'm not trying to say this is a bad song. It's not. It's not. The song is not bad. It's not a bad song. I'm just not going to sit there and lie to you guys and go, oh, this is amazing. Oh, this is one of the greatest songs I've ever heard in my life. No, <laughs> no, it is not. Um, pretty basic, pretty simple song, but it is being well executed. So, Take that for what it's worth. Anyway, let's, let's finish this out and we'll get to the review. But it's a wound, uh, and it's 
seems to like them that's good uh the last two courses being in five that was interesting that was a little different but that's about all i can give it credit for in all honesty uh this is gonna be a short review do not get comfortable <laughs> i've already i already know exactly what i'm gonna say so uh i'm just gonna turn off the video uh switch out from uh the the, the reaction cam to the straight cam and uh we're gonna get right to it i promise you i don't even need don't even give me 10 seconds i don't even need it uh i'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it well there you go folks that was nick cave and the bad seeds with from here to eternity this is a re this was a request from peter x 444 yeah, I had to think about this long. Like, I, I had this score, in all honesty, I had this score pretty much locked in after the first minute of the song. Okay, Th this this score came to me immediately. It did go up a little bit because of the ending being in 5-4. Being that was kind of cool. So the score did come up a little bit, but not a lot. And before I give my score, I, I really hope that if there are any Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds fans out there, that are going to hear the score and they're probably going to flip out because they think it's a bad score. Folks, let me tell you, if this was a bad score, I, I will tell you. I promise. If, if I give a bad score, you will know. This is not a bad score. This, this score is in the positives, okay? Not by much, but it is in the positives, all right? Okay, having said that, let's get this over with and let's get this over with quick because it really is not a lot to talk about. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 5.6. Yep, 5.6. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, look. <laughs> I'd be lying if I sat here and said, Oh, the song was amazing. No, it wasn't. I'd be lying if I sat here and said, Oh, the song was great. No, it wasn't. I'd be lying if I heard if I sat here and said, "Oh, the song was really good." No, it wasn't. It wasn't great. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't fantastic. It wasn't impressive. It wasn't great. It wasn't really good. And I, in all honesty, it wasn't even pretty good. It was okay. All right, it, it's an okay song. Um, not at all what I would put up in the eights and nines. No chance, please. No, this was a very basic, simple song. They were staying on, it sounded like, I, I think they were playing D, but they may have been tuned down. It sounded like a D flat. It sounded like a C sharp D flat, but they were playing with an open string, so they may have tuned down a half step. Um, so, I mean, it, but here's the thing. They stayed on that same chord the entire song. You kidding me? Do not ask me what's impressive about that. I I, I have no answer for you there. I. I can't think of a single thing impressive about that. Even grade schoolers can play, you know, songs that, you know, switch keys. <laughs> grade school bands and stuff like that. And in elementary schools, they, they play more complex songs than this. Um, no, there, there was nothing impressive about this. There was nothing uh, great about this. It was just a very, very basic song. Um, but here's the thing. Did it sound bad? No, it, it, it didn't sound bad. It just wasn't very impressive, but it did not sound bad. 
It did not sound horrible. It, it did not sound terrible. It, it it sounded okay, you know? The vocals. Um, Anything all that impressive about what's happening vocally? Not really, no. But again, was it bad? No, it wasn't bad. Was it horrible? No, it wasn't horrible. It was just, it was just okay. Um, the lead singer kind of reminded me of Jim Carrey, the way he was like spastically moving around the stage. Um, the dynamics were nice. I will say before they went into the chorus, every time they would bring it down dynamically to give the vocals a chance to be a little bit more impactful. That is one of the things that kind of brought the score up from a 5.0, which would have been, you know, right at the bottom of the okay, which is where I was really kind of going with this. Uh, but I had to think about a couple of things. Number one, dynamically, they did a nice job. It was consistent. They did it every single time and they did it well. You know, it was it was very well executed, very well, uh, very cleanly executed. Um, the other selling point on this for me was utilizing the 5-4 at the very end on the last chorus, having it go to a 5-4 time signature. I thought that was pretty cool. I, I didn't see it coming. It did kind of throw me for a loop. I'll be honest with you, I missed it at first. The first couple times they did it, I didn't even catch it. It wasn't until about the third or fourth uh, measure where I was like, wait a minute, that's not 4-4. Four, four. What is that? And I had to count it. I was like, oh, that's 5-4, that's, that's okay. That's pretty cool. So it moved it up again to like a 5.6. The live show, let's be honest, it it didn't hurt, but it really didn't help either. It was, the live show honestly was kind of a non-factor. Um, the lead vocals was kind of moving around the stage <laughs> spastically, uh, but there was no crowd interaction. There was no stage interaction. Um, but there was movement, there was stage energy on stage, there was stage presence, yes. I guess technically you could call what he was doing showmanship, I suppose, that's a bit of a stretch, but we'll go with it. But, uh, and, and then production, there was none. So out of, the, out of the six, he hit three, you know what I mean? So again, live show was a non-factor. So it, it did not help, but it did not hurt either. No, this is getting the 5.6. I, I, I honestly do feel that's about appropriate for this song. It's an okay song. It's not bad. And I know a lot of people are going to be going, that sounds really low. That's because you're used to hearing me saying 7s, 8s, and 9s. You're not used to hearing me saying too many 5s. But listen, if, I'm, if I think the song is okay, you know, it's just okay, I'm, I'm going to give it a 5, which is what this is. It's not a negative score, though. Please keep that in mind. You don't get into the negative scores until you get under five. When you get to the 4.9s and lower, those are negative scores. So yeah, 5.6, it's an okay score. I feel good with that score, and that's where we're gonna stay. So 5.6, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous, and support each other. Later. Peace.